Hey everyone, so we have Joyita with us on my channel. She recently did her internship in Amex, American Express. So today she is here to tell you her experience, how she cleared the OA, what was her interview experience. And she all she was also the finalist in Google Girl Hackathon, winner in the Mercury Hackathon and in various other hackathons. So she is the correct one to guide you how to participate in the hackathons, how hackathons like help you in getting shortlisted for any company. So watch this video till the end and Joyita, let's start the video with your introduction. Hi everyone, so I am Joyita Ahuja and I am pursuing my fourth year currently in DTEC CSC from IGDTUW and I love participating in hackathons. I have won many hackathons and now I am into mentoring hackathons and I try to live a very optimistic life and learn something new every day. Okay, so starting the video with your college journey four years back, how you started the DSA and what was your approach in starting the DSA and what is your suggestion like how a junior can start the DSA either to take a course or they can do from the YouTube also. Okay, so uh, I did not have any coding background. So in my first semester, I started with C language uh, from YouTube only, but I faced a lot of issues. I was not able to grasp things. I was not able to debug codes. Initially, it was very difficult for me to you know, set up VS code also. So, and I was very slow in the process and my whole first semester went up and I was like to, able to do not very much. So I thought this speed is very slow and I'll not be able to do alone. I need some mentorship. So I joined Coding Blocks, an offline course in New Delhi only. And there I learned all the technical skills that uh, got me into Emex. So after the DSA, when was your point of time that you decided that you have to take part in hackathons? And what were your text texts and how you decided to web dev karna hai, AIML karna hai. So what was your approach? Okay. So I decided to go into hackathons in the very first semester of my college. Initially, I was very scared that I won't be able to do it. I do not have the enough technical knowledge. But I and my friends just were like, just give it a try. Let's just try. And through that spirit, we were able to win our first ever hackathon. And that gave us a lot of confidence. And my tech stack was MERN because I was more interested in it. And all I want to say is that hackathon is the best time that where you can put your best foot forward. You can do a lot in those two days that you cannot do separately. So just uh, go for it, I would just say. Yeah, because don't be scared. From hackathons, we can make various projects also, which we can put in the resume. Yeah. So coming to the Amex part now, how was your OA experience and what was their OA pattern for you? Okay, uh, so I was interviewed for the product and data analyst role. So my OA consist consisted of 60 minutes, 60 MCQs. The MCQs varied from uh, SQL queries, from DSA, from theory subjects, from ML as well. Uh, and it was on Unstop platform. And we were only given 60 seconds to solve a question. And uh, but Amex also hires for technology roles. And there the OA pattern is like other companies only where you have to solve some coding questions in a particular amount of time. Okay, so MCQ questions karne ke time pe kaafi bachcho ko ye difficulty hoti ki timely solve nahi ho rahe hai questions. Ya phir aapne kahan se aise practice kari thi ki aapki ye approach bane ki haan 60 seconds mein, 30-40 seconds mein I'll solve a question. Okay, so I didn't specifically practice nahi thi MCQ. Ke le. My only approach was if I'm very, very short, then only I'll take it, else I'll skip it. I would, I just, my approach was just to uh, decrease the number of negative questions. That was my approach. Okay, so specifically covering each subject at a time, OOPS, DBMS, SQL, and okay, DSA you told you did from coding blocks. So how you practiced OOPS, DBMS, and SQL? Okay, so these are the theory subjects that are very important to crack any company. So my whole uh, like so the resource was YouTube only for these uh, subjects and uh, the good channels that are, yeah, you can go for is Gate Smashers and Knowledge Gate and you can also go on GFG links to study them. So after clearing the OA, what was your interview experience? How many interviews you gave to tech or one HR or both combined? Okay. 
so interview process was a little different from other companies uh, other than from the tech and the hr round there was also a group discussion round where we were divided into groups of 10 and only two students were moved forward from each group so the topic of gd can both vary to a tech topic and to a non tech topic and the tech topic can be around the recent technologies that are going around in the world or it can be amex related its cards related credit card debit card credit card versus debit card etc so a good knowledge about the company and its products is very helpful here and in gd how to stand up in a gd is like uh, show your leadership skills give examples while speaking speak something only when you have something valid for speaking just don't speak for the sake of speaking and uh, talk about both pros and cons and just show your leadership skills and you will be there okay सो कहीं ना कहीं हैकेथॉन्स पे पार्ट लेना आपको यहाँ हेल्प करना होगा कि हाँ थोड़ा टीम वर्क भी आया होगा एंड Yeah, like, because hackathons give you like uh, an exposure. They know, get, teach you how to pitch, and that truly totally helped. Okay. So then, after the group discussion, uh, how many rounds were there? Okay, there were two rounds. One was exactly technical, and one was HR. So in technical round, I was focused on my resume. I was asked a lot of in-depth questions on my projects. How did I make it? How what changes can I make it in future? And like it was totally in-depth. So a good knowledge of the projects is very very important. And I was also asked a multiple nested queries, five to six SQL queries. So questions on joins, aggregate functions, window functions can be expected. And I was also so as puzzles and to solve puzzles there is a gfg link that you can always go through and i was asked two dsa questions one was linked list that i had to code brute to optimal and one was dp that i had to code brute to optimal so yeah it was a round that grilled me throughout so you have to cl- be clear with each and every aspect to clear an entry okay so aapke liye to only dsa and puzzles were asked but kya koi aise bhi bachche the jinse projects wagera and resume wagera pucha gaya tha no from from me also projects were asked the questions from resume was asked and the questions about the company and its products were also asked so it's that only that you have to explain why did you make the project how did you make the project what were the challenges that you faced what was the feedback that you get and that is how you can differentiate while explaining the project so resume played a important part here also right of course okay yeah. so one thing i need to mention here is if you want to get your resume reviewed you can check the link in the description i review the resume also okay so going to the hr round how you prepared and what like some examples of the behavioral questions which were asked from you okay so hr round is something that people take a lot lightly and they say that we'll deal it there only but i did not do so i prepared for hr round extensively because uh, uh, like if you have some answers in mind some sample answers in mind that always helps you to answer a new question so i did go through the internet i did go through the youtube of what uh, general hr questions are and i did prepare some sample answers that help me you know shape the new answers that were also asked and the best uh, part that you can do to clear an hr round is also always personalize those answers with real life examples like if i was asked how do you do this or how will you handle this situation how will you do this if this happens in the company i would always relate it okay i faced this situation in a hackathon and that is that is how i dealt it i faced this situation in my class itself and that is how i dealt it and that is how this will be my approach so it is not just important to speak the values but just personalize that answer with your real life examples and you will be there Okay, Joyita. So, in the last, what are some of the tips you would like to give to the juniors? Okay, so I would like to give two tips. Like everybody knows that DSA करना, three subjects करना. तो मैं ये तो नहीं बताऊँगी क्या पढ़ना, क्या नहीं पढ़ना. पढ़ना तो आपको सब कुछ है. But it's very important that in a in an interview, if you do not know a question, just don't do an acting. कि अच्छा सोच रही, सोच रही, सोच रही. Many a times question देखते ही समझ आ जाता है कर पाएंगे या नहीं कर पाएंगे. So it's better that you stay uh, like. speak straight forward that ye nahi hoga koi aur question de do maybe take me uh, like kisi aur skills pe mujhe judge kar lo that is something that you can do and the second tip that i'll uh, able to i'll be able to give is that there is a thing in an interview that ask a question to the hr 
and that is the best time that you can show your interest in the company do not ask basic questions because hrs ko wo questions rate hue hote hain and fir wo ek answer deke chale jate hain but this is the best time that you can you know personalize the interview aap hr ko yaad ho sakte ho that you can you know research about the company and ask a very good question and you can have a discussion on that question okay so kisi bhi interview mein finish karne se pehle always ask a question rather than asking the yeah. feedback of yourself yeah sure okay and good and interesting question yes okay joyta so this is from my side thank you for coming and recording the video